stumbling block for some new Polarian administrators is understanding the different scopes of administration and configuration. It's really not too difficult, and once you see how it works, you'll probably be able to jump right in. The two main scopes for Polarian admin and config activities are repository and project. Think of repository scope as your global default system configuration. In fact, it's even labeled as global in the UI. This scope is where you can set up standards that apply for all new projects across your entire organization or if you run multiple Polarian servers across all projects on each server. It's really important to plan to spend some time on your global configuration when you first move to Polarian. Time spent getting things right in this scope has a high payback potential and save time for many users over the long haul. If you find this task daunting or you're under time pressure, I might just remind you about Polarian's professional services team and our global network of reseller partners. These folks have the experience and the expertise to help you get a new global configuration up and running quickly and exactly to your needs. Okay, so enough sales job and back to configuration scopes. Many, though not all, configuration properties can be set in the project scope to create a project-specific configuration. Project scope settings override their counterparts in the global or repository configuration. If you've done your homework and have your global configuration set up for the broadest common denominator, many, if not most, of the projects your users start won't need any customization of the configuration settings at all. So let's look briefly at a hands-on example of a project customization. A pretty easy to understand one is work item types. Let's look first into the global configuration. Notice I'm seeing a project home page after logging in, so I'll need to open the repository scope. Click the name label, then select repository. It's pretty straightforward. Notice the label here always shows you if you're working in a project or in the repository scope. To see the global work item types configuration, I'll need to go into administration. It's a bit hidden behind this tool icon because most users never ever need it. Once in administration, open work items, then enumerations, and find the work item type config file. Notice it reports that we're looking at the global configuration. Opening the config file in the GUI editor, we can see the work item types defined in the global configuration. Now, suppose I'm admin for a project, and we've decided we don't need the task type for it. So the first thing is to open the project, and I've already created a, an example one in the sandbox. And again, the menu under this label will get us there. Notice that Polarian takes us right to the same configuration we were looking at, only now we're seeing it in the project scope. The scope label, remember, always tells you where you're working. Accidentally changing the settings in the global scope instead of a project is an easy mistake for new admins, so always keep an eye on where you are. Notice that when you look at a config file, it's clear that you're seeing the project scope version of the file. Configuration data, by the way, is mostly stored in XML files, most of which have a GUI editor. Notice here that the work item types are the same as the global configuration, and that's because the project inherited those by default. Here we could define some new custom work item type, or as we said, we're going to remove a type that's not needed for the project. So let's get rid of the task type and save. Now let's get out of administration and go into the project. And into the work items topic, which by the way is the work item tracker. When my users go to create new work items now, there's no option for them to create a task type work item. Also, there's no navigation filter for task type items. That's the result of customizing the project configuration to remove the task work item type. What we've just seen illustrates how to start customizing a project's configuration. But customizing a single project is probably not the best practice unless it's definitely a one-of-a-kind situation where there's little or no chance that other projects will need to be configured the same way. If your users will need to create other projects customized the same way, you'll want to look into creating custom versions of Polarian's project templates. You can find those in the Global Administration in the Project Templates topic.
Basically, you create a new project based on an existing project template, customize the project configuration, and then create a project template from the customized project. You can consult the help system to learn how to do custom project templates. By the way, developing project templates is something you'll probably want to be sure to focus on after setting up your initial global configuration. It's another way to save you and your users a lot of time in the long run. We hope this brief tutorial has helped you to understand about administration and configuration scopes. Your feedback is welcome on the video page on our website or via email at info at <laughs>